Now, following the cabinet approval allowing Kenya Pipeline Company to take over the moribund Kenya Petroleum Refineries Limited, the process of rehabilitating the facility and increasing its storage capacity has begun. KPC Managing Director Joe Sang says the takeover of the facility will see the optimum utilization of the new Kipevu Oil Terminal 2 and positioning of Kenya as a premium trading hub for petroleum and associated products in the region. And as Laura Otieno now reports, the acquisition is expected to enhance petroleum chain infrastructure in a bid to guarantee supply and cost efficiency through reduced demerage costs. The project will also enhance the penetration of LPG gas by setting up a 17 billion shillings LPG storage facility in Mombasa that will significantly reduce the cost of LPG. At the Kenya Petroleum Refineries Limited at Changamwe in Mombasa, giant tanks that once used to store crude oil tower above the ground. However, following a two billion shillings investment by government over the last five years, the sleeping giant is preparing to row following the repurposing of 45 storage tanks which have a capacity of 484 million liters to hold the white product offloaded from the new Kipevu Oil Terminal 2 that was commissioned in 2022. We see KPRL being it's the gateway of East Africa. It's just at the port. As I said, with huge infrastructure in terms of land, close to 400 acres of land. So we'll be able then to do a lot of petroleum and therefore making Mombasa as the gateway for the region. This is the second attempt to rehabilitate the 37-year-old refinery, a similar attempt which was initiated in 2017 at a cost of 20 billion shillings at the time was abandoned. President William Ruto is expected to groundbreak the setting up of a 30,000 cubic meter storage facility at KPRL. Kenya currently receives imported LPG through the Shimanzi oil terminal and stores it in two tanks at the KPRL that have a combined capacity of 1,200 cubic meters. However, the setting up of the new storage facility is projected to cut the cost of LPG by up to 30 percent. There is a common man fault um, at, uh, at um, KOT2. KPRL has, has already a way lead to, to, to the man fault. So, uh, so as soon as the bulk LPG project is done, ships will, will call in and, uh, and they discharge directly to, to the KPRL facility. The conversations we have with government today is not to use more of our money, but to partner with private sector. And one of them will be the LPG seeing a lot of private sector participation in some of the big projects. Kenya has an LPG consumption demand of 300,000 metric tons per year. The country imports 40% of gas annually from LPG farms in Tanzania through the Namanga and Holili border posts, and the remainder is imported through the port of Mombasa. Laura Otieno, Citizen.